Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Camila and in today's video I'm making Turkish cup coasters using a very simple technique. I will use silicone baking molds with three cavities to make this. The cavity measures 10 centimeters and I bought it on Amazon. I will leave the link in the description. I will also use turquoise epoxy paste and silver fine glitter to add to the center of the coasters. The first thing I do is mix the part A and part B resin together for about 5 minutes, then separate the epoxy into smaller cup to add my pigment. Now I'm gonna go in and mix up my teal blue metallic paste and what I do for this is just take my craft stick, mix it up in the container, scrape the excess off and only use tiny bit that's left on my steer stick and add it to the clear resin and mix it well. I now go in with this teal blue simply by making a ring around the perimeter of the coaster. I use around 50 grams of resin for each coaster. Very simple and easy to do. And then I use clear resin. So I pour about 40 grams of clear resin into the center of the coaster and wait for the pigmented resin to pull into the center of the mold. I use a torch to get rid of any air bubbles and also to help the resin to pull inwards. Every time I go over my coasters with the torch, the resin moves inwards faster and that's what I want. I want this transparent gap in the center to be as small as possible. It took about 10 minutes from pouring the resin into the molds. The gaps are quite small and I now cover them and wait until the next morning to move on to the next step. This is the next day, the coasters are dry and now I will apply silver fine glitter into the center of my coasters. I first mix part A and part B resin together for about 5 minutes. I will need about 20 grams of clear resin for each base and just a little bit to mix with glitter. After mixing the resin, I wait another 10 minutes before pouring into the molds. This allows the resin to warm up in the container and reduce air bubbles. I add about 20 grams to each coaster. and now add the glitter to the center and push the glitter down to spread it out as I don't want the glitter to stick out or float. I like the look of my coasters, but before I cover them overnight, I use a torch to remove any air bubbles I remove any unwanted dust with tweezers and wait 24 hours for the resin to dry. Day 3, it's time to unmold my coasters. The edges are quite sharp, so I file them off camera with an electric grinder. I filed down the edges and now I'm going to paint them silver with this silver marker. All the products that I use in this video will be listed in the description and I also recommend using the online resin calculator, a link to which can also be found in the description. I now apply self-adjustive cork pads to the base of the coasters. And this is the final product. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you want to see more tutorial like this, please let me know in the comments. I also recommend checking out my other videos. The proposition cards will pop up at the end of this video. Thanks again so much for watching and see you next week.